all right good morning and uh, good evening on the two different time zones uh, myself dr sharma and uh, dr kini and with our fellows here and the catlab staff many of very short very familiar faces uh, with our great nurses uh, uh, technicians and uh, our echo car in i would say amazing uh, guy uh, kiski we all are here uh, to present the fantastic case as a series of learn from the master which will be the case number 7 and i know that we have spoken to some of the faculty already with sri nivas dr arneja and uh, i need damin kohli still supposed to come jitendra makkar yeah yeah i am there oh I'm good they are coming to come to the video so ah. very good evening i mean i am diman yeah. here thank you very yes. much thank Beautiful. you but uh, Uh, they are not allowing the video, so I can't answer no. in the video. I am on the line here. Yeah. Thank no, you no, very but, much. No, no, but but uh, Madden Box should do it. Uh, uh, this our panelist uh, 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 faculty should be able to get on the video, please. Why? So they may, they will resend you the correct uh, uh, login. We yeah. know that some are participants, some yeah, for yeah. the faculty. They'll send it again for you. Uh, but meanwhile, we start this case, uh, which is a very. Yeah. we can see you and congratulations yes. and welcome beautiful okay and they will get you also okay let's start with the uh, our two hour on yeah this go on okay our session would be as usual one hour case presentation here with me and uh, anu of the complex case imaging guided and then we have a one hour of various lectures which have been assigned and then we this is our uh, uh, the episode number 7 uh from learn from the master with the boston scientific no disclosures uh, and so it's a 74 year old female uh presented with new onset angina has a risk factors uh, control has a heart murmur of mild hocm in the past in the old used to a negative stress test uh but and good medical therapy because of symptoms and was catheterized outside and uh, anu will show the cath which is a three vessel disease they recommended cabbage but uh, clearly decline cabbage uh, if we can go to the angiogram please lv function is normal yeah hyperdynamic lv yeah. um has some uh, basal mid cavitary gradient yeah. of yeah. about 140 or so you can see that um so this is a right coronary artery proximal uh, um you know diffuse disease but then a mid ulcerated lesion then again significant disease in the pda yeah. rpl yeah. is okay Some. large size vessel and then we have the left sided here so significant disease of the prox cirque and you have small uh, diffuse disease uh, om and lpl maybe 30% distal left main yeah this is actually come more, now yeah. we didn't see it in the original angio which was done outside actually but yeah definitely there is a 30 50% distal left main also yeah yeah now uh, so i think uh, significant disease is actually is in the mid uh, uh, lad but uh, 95% uh, large diagonal yeah bifurcation and we see moderate to heavy calcium in yeah. the i think the calcium by our definition if we go to our tram tax science see that uh, it's a significant severe calcification of course imaging can be done but uh, uh, but this is where we are most important is very good size diagonal um 2.75 mm uh, very long lesion starting with osteal we know that uh, with a two stent approach a uh, complex lesion defined by angulation by calcification and uh, lesion length of more than 10 mm it will fit into criteria that go with a two stent approach uh, and uh, so that's where our goal will be in this particular case go back to the slide presentation so that we are ready to um, complete this presentation first a uh, plan for avas guided complex pci led d1 bifurcation using rotational hysterectomy and des and as you know that we have prop, uh, of the various bifurcation strategy uh, mini crush is the one we usually uh, advertise and so so this is a three vessel cad grid of the oc and uh, patient will found into a large of course intermediate to high risk findings on non vegetative test and syntax score more than 22 so you can say it may be maybe appropriate but after heart team discussion it is clearly we know it become a m become a and this is where uh, in addition to with all these patients 
syntax score, STS score, frailty, all these things have come after the hard team discussion, which is a must for these complex cases uh, to really allow the patient have a best option. So with that note, uh, we will just go through it. Uh, and uh, Anu is ready to go with the seven French guide catheter, uh, which is the mark guide, which are a little softer. We use the Boston Scientific guides. Uh, and one of the advantages are they are a little softer, may not fit into our Indian culture completely because uh, they will probably would not, with, will not withstand the time of uh, if somebody wants to sterilize them. But otherwise, they are very soft. We have rarely any osteal dissection with those catheters. Okay, and tell us what's the plan now. You are ready to engage? Yeah. Engage I'm already. Engaged. Yeah. I'm nitro given. To see which we give some nitro. We yeah. already. Trying to see which will be the... Yes, our question will be that how the diagonal is the calcified also or not. So, that's the most okay, important good, case. Good, good. What I meant Osteal diagonal. We show some calcium and... Uh, yeah, okay. let's take... Wait. Go. Very calcified. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? I, I personally think that this case, we should do the diagonal uh, 1.25 rota first yes. and then do a 1.5 or 1.75 of the main LED. Everybody agrees? Give us the opinion while we are I, doing I, this. Yeah. I, do, I do agree, Shamim. Iman here, I do agree. Yeah. Because very calcium. You see that. I always say the calcium should be before you give the dye, do, do, do the dry sine. And you see, start seeing the both sides now. Can you do it without it? Well, other will be you do a balloon dilatation, Pull see back. if balloon opens up, then you go with the cutting balloon or IVL. A lot of people may decide about IVL, yeah. but we are very low threshold. Uh, to do rotation attract me and that's what we are going to do with a 1.25 bar. Can? Yeah. Hello. 2.520. Yes. Tell us, yeah. No, no. Can we, can we, I'm, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Ajit Mehta here. Can we do uh, rota to LED and probably balloon to diagonal? No, but uh, that was uh, that was our original plan. We were we were in the process of thinking about because these pictures came from other place. The angiography was not that clear cut. So why I'm doing it here, and that's what we did when TCT two years ago. Uh, everybody thought that we will be able to do a balloon of that diagonal, and see balloon didn't open. IVL did not go in this particular case. Yeah. And uh, with that kind of calcific diagonal. So therefore, uh, and then we are opted for the rota, and even rota actually did not complete. We left the half rota, and then balloon dilatation did the job. So this case, just because of severe calcium, uh, now if you want to prove it on the IVAS, you want to prove it on the IVAS? No, no, no. Yeah. Please. So angiographically, that's okay. We don't need to go an further. Angiogram, no? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see. It's going to a small branch. I'm trying to get onto the main vessel. If yeah. it goes, goes. It does not. Yeah. So just because of that, uh, and it's a good size, means it's not a vessel which is keep it open. Uh, you see the area supplied by the diagonal is a good size area, and uh, we need to... Okay, some guy. Because of that region, I think once we de try to uh, decide that we need to... Uh, take care of the diagonal, then we have to go with the optimal strategy. And optimal strategy in this particular case will be because of calcification, there's some kind of decalcific technique. And what the, it could be for discussion, if we have a very bad angulation, like 90 degree or above, uh, or eight, you know, 75 or above, I would say probably we'll go with the uh, balloon and then followed by IVL. Or in this angle, which is about 50, 60, I think it's a good case you showing the one small rota bar or provided we know it may still can give rise to it despite using the rota uh, uh, the flex wire a uh, drive flex uh, that some uh, we may still can get uh, you know wire bias but i think this is a good case to prepare the lesion by using the rotation effect me and i think we can ask our other panelists that uh, i know dr diman already said that he will use the rota uh, just for calcification we can take the opinion from others too Sir, yeah, sir, I'm Deepak here. Yep. Yep, yeah, Dr. Meja here. I think uh, yes. I fully agree with the plan. There is very significant calcium at the bifurcation and extending yeah. into the diagonal. Yeah. So I think uh, the rota would be the safest and most effective way to you know prepare this region. And other for other point, very good. No, but Jaspal, that's a great point. And we were thinking also that after this diagonal rotor, then we take a picture of the maybe I was the LED to see how much calcium because I was looks like the lesion in the LED may be moderate. 
uh, to some view yeah, because right. I wouldn't take too many pictures now. But we have one picture from outside in the aleocranial. Okay. It will appear clearly 70, 80. But two, three pictures we took here, LED is barely 40, uh, 50 plus percent. So I think, Anu, you agree with that after uh, taking care of the uh, balloon and rota of the diagonal that we will do a iOS of the LED. Sir, sir I am Deepak, sir. Yes, uh, sir, yeah. I have uh, I have a couple of queries regarding this. First, regarding the sure. bifurcation strategy, I I would yeah. certainly agree with you, sir. Uh, uh, definitely, the diagonal ostium has significant calcification. If at all we do not prepare it properly, there is always a chance that while going for a two stent bifurcation strategy, the side branch stent might not open well. So, and definitely, I would also feel that uh, we need to do rotablation of uh, the diagonal with one point two five bar. Uh, sir, I have two queries. Now, mm -hmm. uh, in the first image, in the caudal view, we saw that the left main is also deceased yeah. around 30-40%. Yes. So if at all you were to go across from the left main across the circumflex into LED, would you address the circumflex first and then go on to left main LED D1 bifurcation? That's query that, uh, number one. Absolutely. No, but answer to that is absolutely yes. If we decide... Pull the wire back. Yeah, yeah. If you decide to do the left main, you do the circ and then complete the left main. Yes. And uh, proximal circ has no disease. So this case will be the extent across the left main crossover. Uh, from uh, the, the left main to, uh, looks like the circ is okay. So the left main to LED uh, will be okay after doing a, a circumflex PCI first. Yeah. Okay, the yes, wire is going a little further, you pull it, yeah, good. So the second yes. query is, we, we have learned from you that when you have a bifurcation to be uh, rotablated, uh, it's always safer to uh, rotablate first the vessel, which is easy to wire. Here, we see that the diagonal is critically diseased and if we do the rotablation of diagonal first, pull out the balloon into LED and do the rotablation, if at all there is a small chance the diagonal closes down, there is, you find it difficult to wire it. So, what is your thought on it, sir? First, yeah. doing rotablation of well, LED and then yeah. do Very good point. So, question is, why did we go beyond uh, our usual teaching in this particular case? Because I am saying the different way that to me... Uh, in this particular case, I think the LED has a moderate lesion and the diagonal is very tight. And therefore, I think in this particular case, it's absolutely fine to go with the diagonal first and then plus minus for the LED. And LED will decide based on the IVAS. But you are right. If there had been an 80% even lesion angiographically, we would have done the LED first before the diagonal. Polishing? Yes, Any resistance? And to tell us what resistance itself? Uh, no. Yeah, it was very easy uh, to wire. You saw that wiring as well as the attract me. Uh, this rotablation with the 1.25 bar, uh, very easy. Get a one wire, guys. Yeah, we have both run through and fielder uh, because we need to. Uh, now, once you do a rota, this is okay to just do a moderate level of balloon dilatation also, so uh, so that you have opened the lumen. We know that rota does uh, some. Lumen enlargement, but most of the enlargement occurs with the subsequent post dilatation. So let's take a picture and uh, tell us uh, what is your, your strategy. We have been talking on various strategies here. I want to hear from you. What is your strategy in this case now? Okay, let's wire the LED. Okay, and let's wire the LED. Uh, I think the we already see the good. wire bias, and yeah. I think uh, yeah. in the LED, we can just. Uh, Probably don't need anything. No, we don't know yet. I think it will, to me, it will be very calcified. Wire introducer. Wire introducer, my friend. To me, but diagonal is okay. Diagonal improved. Yes. Yes, Sunil. Bolo away. Diagonal is good, yeah. Sir, this, you know, if you are doing rota of the main artery, like LAD first, then the diagonal. So, once you do the rota of the LAD, then uh, do you your routine practice is to uh, do the rota or a guide extension catheter to the diagonal because or you want to remove the wire from the you know rota ablated LED and then go with the diagonal. Yeah, so very good point. So I know that uh, has been published uh, that you are worried about the side branch. You put a guide extension catheter in the side branch, but you require eight French guide as you know. Uh, to put both okay, of them yeah. together. So we have never done it. Never, never. Reason is that this kind of situation, a very tight lesion of the side branch will go with the side branch. Because if you are done, the good rotation attract me with a good technique, the chances of the side branch occlusion will be very, very little. 
some people they do no, a little balloon that, dilatation of the side branch so in my in this particular case if we, first we do rotablation of the led no nothing to the side branch thus then you put a rota wire into the diagonal and then do a little balloon of the led take the balloon and wire out of the led and then uh, do the rotablation of the diagonal if we need to do both of them uh, particularly one is 80 percent both are 80 percent here one is 50 percent other one is 90 percent so we went with the 90 percent first does that answer your question uh, sunil yeah if there is a dissection in the led after rota ablation and you want to do the rota ablation of the side branch so yeah. you can't take out the wire from the led so then what will be your strategy to balloon. rota ablate the no, side no, branch no no we'll balloon it yeah so key is that you balloon and usually with the balloon dissection of the led and I, again uh, do having done so many of uh, we never encountered uh, this kind of significant okay. dissection there could be a small dissection and what you can always do mm. bring the bar as close to as possible so even there is a little dissection okay. of the LED, proximally I'll bring the bar exactly at the ostium of the diagonal and it starts just there. Okay. So now so we you are will retain the wire. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So our goal basically is no, that no, no means it's wire it's during atherectomy, you cannot leave the wire in the side branch. That we know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. only way yeah. you can leave the wire in the side branch, you cannot leave it for orbital as well as rotational. You can leave it in the laser. You can leave it in the cutting balloon. Mm -hmm. You can leave it with the IVL. Okay. Now what is the plan now? Tell. We are balloon ready for the side branch, and then we do the iris of the LED. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we may still do the rota of the LED. Yeah. This is a 2.520. Okay. 2.520 balloon. Keep Maybe talking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The... yeah. If need to be, but we'll see not I will. Uh, as adjunct. So if we need to be, let's say with the one we are done 1.25, if need something else. Uh, I would do the first thing now for the diagonal, uh, basically our uh, cutting balloon, and we actually in deflator, we are doing a trial uh, called rota cut. And the concept there is cut down the bar even 0.3. And combine it with the rota versus rota plus high pressure. We have done 60 patients are being analyzed now. Primary endpoint of the trial basically was the imaging, the lumen gain. We need to little further. Uh, lumen gain uh, after as well as the final stent um, MSA, minimal stent area. And 60 patients done and we try analyzing them now and then send it to a TCT. Uh, I mean, it's a 60 patient whether they'll take it as a late breaking trial. But it's a randomized 60% FD approved. And after this trial is done, they told us that at present, cutting balloon does not have a high, FU. High pressure. Yeah. Does not have an indication uh, for a severely calcified lesion. But after this uh, FD approved trial, uh, Boston Scientific will be able to get, get the, 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 the product uh, label, uh, you know, device FU. Uh, is that, uh, just take a picture, uh, that uh, cutting balloon can be used in a severely calcified vessel, which apparently product label at this time is negative. Yeah. So there is, has good been a little dissection, which is okay. I say that little dissections are all those are good thing that we are definitely made some change in the plaque. But most important is the wire should not come back. Yeah. Shamin, at what pressure you have given the cutting balloon dip, uh, deployment? Yeah. That one? Yeah, in, yeah, it's very good. In this case, right now, we just went with the high pressure balloon 2.5 at 14. And if I go with yeah. the cutting balloon, then I'll go with a higher pressure. Okay. And we are doing a LED now. What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. I was the LED. Yeah, I was the LED now. So once yes. we do I, I was of LED and we decide on rotablation of LED, yeah. what would be a burst size? Would it yeah. be yeah. a 1.5 so, or a non point? So I think, I think it's uh, probably 1.75. Uh, and we can ask our, uh, maybe audience also, they want to have any question. If, uh, if, if we go to the LED, I think I'll go with the 1.75 bar. And we'll do based on that. Some people say, you know what, diagonal is little dissected. I, if, uh, uh, if, even if something needed in the LED, I'll go with IVL. That I can't argue against it. Except the cost issue, but yes, could be possible. Okay, I think we should, we, all we, right. Just balloon of the LED will be okay. Yeah, but let's see. Okay, okay. let's bring it on the okay, main I screen. LED. It's coming. It's a mid LED. One, two, three. Get us a three yeah, or so twenty balloon park. also. So much cost, yeah, bring yeah. it on the main yeah. screen. Set up launch here. Yeah, I see the two quadrant calcium. Still mid LED. Floral. What are they doing? 
No, 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 no. So I was. Yeah, yeah good. Yep. Yeah. So now this uh, room is getting bigger. This is a bifurcation. Yeah. Looks, this is a flux LED. This we call on the call film. I think we can just bigger. do the high pressure balloon, right? No, or cutting balloon. Why don't we do a cutting balloon? No, no. So, we'll be okay. Now come to the yeah. TV level. Yeah, here. Thing. Look at this. Check our stuff. Actually, you know, it's very interesting. Let's play the IWAS, and I'll tell you what my opinion, and it's a clear change before yeah. we started this You're case. Right. So let's see. We take the opinion from everyone that what would you do to the LED now? Play it, and then everybody, all our, our expert panelists, that what would you do in your practice now? Okay, play. Play now from here. Sure. So this is a plox LED. Now go to the distal. This is a plox LED, like yeah. one quadrant. And now this is the bifurcation. Okay. Yes. Bifurcation. Now maximum calcium is what? Uh, three quadrant or full circle? No. Not full it's circle. It's lesser. It's like yep. one quadrant or no, no. two quadrant yeah. max. True. Yeah. There's not yeah. a lot of calcium. We could just do with the PTCA. True. All right. Let's ask our experts what they will do. And not even that, the uh, rotational atherectomy of the side branch, we see nice cuts in the LED, in the proximal LED, just before the bar. Go back to the, the that, level yeah. of the diag. Chip, one second. Yeah, go back. So uh, now, now I see yeah, the right D1 right from yeah. 6 o'clock. You see that? Yeah. So yes. There's nice yeah. cuts there. So I don't think you need anything else. You can just do high pressure balloon now. All right, everybody agrees with Dr. Kinney that we just go with the high pressure in the LED with diagonal we have prepared and they have a 3020 high pressure balloon. And if it does not open up, then strategy would be what? A cutting yeah, balloon or cutting IVL? Balloon. Yeah, cutting balloon. Okay. I don't think cutting you need balloon. IVL either. Yeah. It is less so, than two quadrants everywhere. Okay. So clearly the point is that IVL is probably not needed because calcium is between two to three quadrants maximum, never a circular. And uh, go back on floor. Yeah, good. And uh, therefore, if need to be combined, We'll use the uh, cutting cutting balloon. Uh, look for a three or cutting balloon, guys. Also, good. Dr. Bikini, yeah. what pressure yeah. would you go up before you say yeah. that it doesn't open up with the NC balloon? Would you well. go up to so 24, we are no, 26? Right now, we are going uh, 18, 20. Yeah. What do you have? Right now, 12. Floro? No, just to say that so when it opened you, up. At what L pressures yeah. would you? Yes, sir. What pressures would you say that? Well, this is NC is not opening up the lesion. Would you go at least to 20 atmospheres? Yeah. 20. No, 20, not 20, more than that. 20. Because remember, 20. if you didn't open at 20, then you could yeah, be in more trouble uh, with a very high pressure causing a spiral dissection. So we don't want that to happen. Now, we also got in USA we'll now, see. we are about 14 atmosphere. So you see that it's a nice expansion. We are at uh, 18 now. Yeah, yeah no. it's fully open. And this is actually amazing. I mean, I would not have uh, thought about it without doing that uh, IVAS. And that is where the importance of uh, intravascular imaging is coming now with the, all the society recommendations and uh, latest trial. Uh, let's come back in the guide, take a picture and then decide. Only question is, let's see. No, but what was the distal left main? Can we see that on the IVAS? Yeah, yeah. so this is, yeah, there, this is true. There's a plug where a lumen area is like more than six. This is a distal left main. Okay, more, more than, than six. that. Yeah, more, more than, than that. Go outside, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. More than six, okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do it in the end anyway. Make sure you no, concentrate no, no. on the okay. distal left main also when we go later. Good. No, no. Go back to the distal left main. No, no, but it's we'll do it again. About seven. No, no. We have to be clear because... Yeah, go back. The, the yeah. More, more, more. Outside. Yeah. yeah. More. Yeah. It will Maybe be seven, more. yeah. Definitely. Very eccentric, but... And that is what we saw there. Okay. Let's get our strength strategy. Uh, 2.5, uh, the diagonal, I think of 20 will be okay. Or, yeah, 2.5, 20 synergy and uh, 3.5, 24. I think put a 28. 28, okay. 28 or longer? Yeah, no, 28. No, no, huh? you yep. see that? From or there, all the... No, from the proximal. The distal is not 3.5. Or 3.0, yeah, we can push yeah, direct. We are doing a kissing anyway. go 3.5. Okay. Yeah, true. Is three o. Okay. Three o thirty two. Synergy XD and uh, two point five twenty. So uh, that's a right. I mean, our change of strategy, not doing the second rota of the LED, uh, is confirmed by the imaging. Actually, I can tell you, I have one patient yesterday. A uh, patient has a six thousand uh, two hundred sixty two hundred calcium score, and guess what? In coronary disease, there was less than 20% in the mid LED. There was no uh, completely open. And patient is a, a retired uh, 
25. Uh, you know, retired physician at age of 72, very high calcium score, but absolutely minimal uh, CAD. Everything was in the wall of the uh, vessels, all calcium. So we are going with the 2, 5, 20 to the side branch the diagonal and the 3, 0, 32 to the main vessel. Mini crush. Yeah. Good. We can so we play the, the mini crush in the side? Yeah. Felipe? Yeah. So for the sake of discussion, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I did here again. So I had yeah. uh, I wish would have shown a significant calcium in LED. And yeah. uh, uh, you know, we in India, you know, have uh, multiple issues with the finances. So one per size orbital other treatment would have been a good idea instead of using two different size bursts. For diagonal and LED? Yes, a question was that can 1.25, I mean, clearly the diagonal, I you know, whether you want to go to 1.5, yeah. If that was the plan, that if you have one birth size, I would have gone with a 1.5 in both. Okay. Yeah. And you see the bifurcate 3D is playing on the top with the mini crush steps. By 1.5 will be huh? 1.5 is too big for that. I'm sorry, say it again. What? 1.5 bay is a too large. No, but 1.25 went very easy. If no, you no, use no. a single bar, that will be okay. Yeah. Single bar point of view. No. Okay. Guide oh, has to would you have considered orbital effect in this case? Yeah, so Just that's another point that, yeah, only question is the little angulation of the diagonal would have been a little negative, but I think not prohibitive. So that is one way that using the orbital effect me again, but orbital we rarely, rarely uh, go with the uh, the 120 speed, because that's where the trouble occurs. You want to advance the diagonal a little bit? Some die. Yeah. Yeah, so that, and then go with the 120 in the main vessel. So that will be another way uh, people will do. But my only question is 120 is... Uh, okay, go up in the side branch. Yeah. The 120 always had little trouble, little worried about, because that's where we had little perforations in the beginning. And now <laughs> since we have almost no-no for 120, uh, oh. those things are not happening. So we oh, have 14 okay. atmosphere of the Synergy XD. Uh, and then with a mini crush, the diagonal being deployed, your LED stand should be in the place where it need to be because many times it may be pushed a little bit or with, with the diagonal stand. And if pushed, that means it's a good one because you have, com you have basically covered the ostium. Good. Too much in those. Take the wire out. Yeah, I will. Yep. Good. Okay, go up in the LED. Okay. Low go. pressure distally, yeah. right? Yeah. This is 3 -o only. It's a 3 -o. Yeah. Good. Get a 2.5, 12 compliant, right? First. Or yeah, 2 or 12? 2 or 12. 2 or 12. And then we and need three, a 3, 5, 15. And 3.5, 15. So we are going to go with the process of uh, optimizing this uh, a uh, lot of people will do a you know pot and so I think we basically is they just do the kissing and then decide uh, left main pot absolutely non left main pot is not much favorite for us uh, but uh, but the whole goal is that you need to optimize uh, your stent results whether it require pot or not pot but uh, we'll see and particularly here we have the power of imaging and imaging will tell us what else need to be done. Uh, so we are going to go recross the diagonal now after taking a picture and open, um, you know, and this is always the trouble, I know, uh, that using the balloon which we used before today uh, and you want to go back to the side branch, sometimes it's difficult. You want to take a picture first? Okay. Yeah, let's take a picture. Sine. You see the way wire is going, it will require a smaller balloon. Your old balloon which was there is not going to work. Okay. 2 or 12, right? Real yeah, we are 2 or 12, yeah. Okay. Let's take one picture now okay. to see how, how the stands are. Good. 2 or 12. And we are 3.5 for there, yeah. Is that, it's a two or two and, and any other uh, question from our uh, audience? <clears throat> so Sir, always, uh, this is, this is yeah. just in the for a two balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Recrossing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are going to recross. Yeah, now. Uh, 
we do here uh, radial with six french aha uh-huh. so in such cases uh, we do a step crush like we crush yeah. the diagonal stent yeah. with led balloon right so do yes. you think they are equivalent equivalent yes. techniques or yep. uh, i would say that that's what we do for the in the radial case exactly we do this uh, step crush uh, uh, technique and uh, with a six french because radial seven french is very tough uh, and that's where those cases are the one which we do either step crush or dk crush so even to look at this you want to rewire it so because the way wire went it was little issue and other thing be is that me a 3 or 12 a high pressure balloon ready also yeah. if i need to do anchor not 3 5 No, 3 12 yeah 12. distal is not yeah see this wire looks like we need to change the wire the new wire to... yeah give us a new fielder wire hydrophilic but yeah uh, jitender the step crush or uh, the dk crush for the radials are the best approach uh, you know what hmm. dr We sharma can... sunil here yes sunil uh, here like you know is, since it's get uh, because it's a 3 5 proximally and we have put a 3 o stent now yes, this wire yes. to the side branch can go behind the stent strut so right. uh, do you think it is better to do a pot first and then no, try to decross that is the, the next step we are going to do yeah. but for that you see the way they are wiring you know that you are in the lumen yeah yeah okay because remember behind the strut what you do basically before going to the side branch go distal in the main vessel yeah. if you went to main vessel okay. then but then you know that okay. you are in the lumen but here is it's a okay. lot of calcium yeah. in the yeah. side branch which is not allowing us to yeah. actually navigate it and if you see the of uh, the rota actually did do eccentric cut in the led which we even saw in the ivs and the balloon mm-hmm. yeah Now, so this is a uh, oh, this is a two o balloon so this comes out so get me the three five first so yeah, so clearly yes so by doing a pot in this case and we, that's what we say that do in a kissing situation yeah. we can, we will need it especially mm. in calcific vessels yeah. because mm. the stent may not be fully opposed to the vessel wall now you want to wire first vessel wall. No, side no, branch this is no not side branch this is what size good so yeah. we are going to do the proximal led first yeah give so, me a new wire and then 3 or 3 or 12 we may need a anchor technique also to get the balloon into the side branch But we yes. have seen the situation yeah, yeah. when the side branch has a lot of calcium. It's not that easy. Uh, one to rewire and the second to get the uh, balloon in uh, when we are doing kissing balloon. So here you try to recross with the two millimeter balloon, and that yeah. can go. So you pulled out the wire and try to go through a different cell. Now, is there any role That's... for going with an one or an one point two five millimeter yeah. balloon through the same cell or one the side branch? Yeah. or even one oh yeah yeah, yeah. The, that uh, will be our next goal yes so, yeah, goal. first first we have to make sure we are in the right cell we were not happy that we are in the right cell we can do moderate pressure yeah, how uh, sir how did you make it out that you were not in the right cell because the wire movement is yeah, the distance yeah exactly wire. that wire is, that's it. yes yeah. yes yeah because of that wire movement you remember the wire bent while going there so i think that we thought that it's taken a some angle turn uh, which is now so we have the new wire you remember that was a little battered wire <laughs> you know yeah. see now the this stent is going better i go up again here i want another compression now one thing we have noticed that doing while doing step crush okay that it is the recrossing is way harder than when we do mini crush yeah. with step crush yeah jitender what has been your experience on that go up here okay. the recrossing yeah. is now right. clearly yeah yes yeah. yeah. recrossing is with difficult here yeah. even we go with high pressure balloon in the led and really crush the stent and then place the stent in the led somehow i have noticed recrossing is much harder and in that case as we know one of the biggest advantage of the dk crush is that dk that crossing all there are multiple steps but crossing is uh, recrossing is easier because you open the ostium of the side branch before you put the stent in the main vessel so now we are ready to wire the side branch here so we're going to go with the new wire yeah so the the steps will be new wire hopefully we will get a good cell yeah. and then if two or does not go then we will go with 1.25 or 10 
or 1.25 or so i suggested that go with a small but i think we were not happy with that the way wire moved so very low threshold for that and after everything fails try to use your corsair goes into the side branch very very rare if nothing else works we actually we have done the rotablation we have published that that you do a rotablation ablate the stent at the ostium if nothing else is going which doesn't happen now used to happen with the old thick stud stents uh, and that does not happen now you want to just see floro you are good position yeah uh, and uh, but used to happen in the past but this thin stud is very very rare that you are not able to get it yeah good 3 or 12 is ready uh, yeah not yet good would dk crush uh, would have been uh, you know crossing more easier than mini crush sorry can you repeat it can you increase no one thing would dk crush would have made uh, you know crossing oh, yeah. the diagonal much more easier no but uh, i would say we didn't find much difference with the mini crush and dk crush recrossing now this kind of difficulty we have with the dk crush also what we found is the reverse crush reverse crush we have much difficulty going into the side branch no, step or step crush i mean basically step crush i meant yeah step crush okay so this is okay we have the other balloon 12 yeah going there okay now two things you can do you can go with a smaller balloon 10 or 1.25 get that ready but other talk technique we want to show is the anchor so let's anchor the mid led there is a stand there uh, we put a balloon uh, moderate pressure and then try to get into the side branch but yeah so the in the step crush is the one we found difficulty but not in the dk crush or mini crush getting into the side branch almost invariably but yeah sometimes you had to recross it uh, with a different cell and go to the smaller balloon one or 1.25 Okay. What do you say? Mostly in such cases, filter works, or you have any experience oh. with any other wire also? Oh yeah, I so mean sometimes filter. filter, yeah, filter works quite well, but I, you can use other wires also, yeah. Sir, one basic question: uh, When you have this sort of difficult calcified lesion, would you really at uh, at some point of time would you venture in with a six French guide catheter? Most of the time, we would prefer going in seven French catheter. You are more comfortable that way. Even if it's radial, yeah. try to get away with a seven French guide yeah. catheter. Would you electively prefer doing with a Go six either. French guide catheter? No means uh, if the radial, yeah. But no means uh, in the radial, I would one point two five. Yeah. Or a one o. One o. One o. Get a one o balloon. So I would say in the radial. I would go with a six French. Very, very rare. We go with a seven. As we know all the data. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, went in actually. Went in, went in now. Uh, so that we the with the radial, we know the seven French little higher occlusion, uh, radial artery occlusion. So we try not to do. But yeah, some cases we have done it. Uh, but pri predominantly that will be the six French case. Okay. Down. Yeah. And there, our you know strategy yeah. used to be uh, the. Step crush, uh, and sometimes maybe rarely you want to talk about the tap or uh, reverse crush if you have the kind you want no. to use it as a uh, bailout. Uh, but uh, but key is uh, there we favor more uh, DK crush in that situation. Ready? Yeah. We are going now as a kissing. It's a 1.25 balloon there. No, sorry, 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. 2.0. But you want to go 2.5? Let's go do 20. at least yeah. one. Yeah. Good. Huh? Yeah. You want to 2.5 or that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we can have, uh, let's take the pictures out, the, I mean balloons out, take a picture. Good, we can put a 2.5, leave one balloon there, leave the LED balloon. Yeah, give us a 2.5, 12 high pressure, we didn't use it earlier, we used it earlier. No, that was 20, I may not make a good yeah. turn here. No, 20 will go now. Use the same balloon, remember we had to use our Indian techniques, no new balloons, every balloon is expensive. The cost 12, 12 we had, balloon we are <laughs> struggling yeah no but now it will go so i think rather than opening the new balloon that's what think about we are in india we are not using the new balloon which extra cost for six thousand rupees to the patient if it does not go then we'll go go negative but look for a 2.5 12 high pressure also please this is the 2.5 20 which we used before and we are going back again use balloon 
But key is, uh, once you had done this kind of mini crush and vessel is barely just 2.5 uh, and we know that nice crush has taken place, don't go with this balloon. You need a smaller balloon first. You cannot go with a 2.5 balloon. Yeah, went in. Good. Okay. Now we are going to do kissing again. You keep it. Go, go. High pressure there. Yeah, go. Go 20. Mm. Okay, down, down. Okay, we are all good. Okay, good. Go up. Both going up. No, no, let him go. Yeah. Let him go, Diag. Yeah. 18. Good. Now I'm going. Okay, good. Yeah, Sine. The okay. guy was ready. So and now question let's is... evaluate the left main again. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. But no, but let's say this is an important question hmm. which comes up with our all... I would say both of them do the ostiums. Okay. Hmm? Okay, fine. The, no, means question is, do you still do the pot? That's no. the question always comes. You have done the kissing. Yes. And a lot of people are believer that now you have made a, a lumen a little more still very elliptical, not a circular. You still go back into the kissing. Uh, I mean, the pot before the bifurcation. But let's take a picture and let's see what we will do. And we decide. One second. Let's give a little nitro. But I can tell you most of the people in India will do the pot now. Or we call it a repot Because we did little balloon earlier. Good. Let's take a picture. Okay, we'll do not. Okay, we are going to show the iris of both the vessels so now. I took the diagonal out. Diagonal, fine, that's fine. So most important is the LED. Let's do the iris of the LED and then decide. You want to go to different view or this is okay? And more importantly, we need to interrogate the left main a little better now. <clears throat> I think it's okay. Left main, I, in my opinion, will be beyond uh, seven. Good. Okay, distal edge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guide is out. Okay, so check the image. Okay, one second, wait. Yeah, this is a native. Bring the eye was on the yeah, yeah. Okay, I start to work. Yeah, this is a native. It's coming. Still mid LED. Still native. Yeah, big lumen. Yeah, perfect landing zone. Normal opposition, no dissection. Well expanded. Yeah, I can see the outside costume, but lumen is great. Well expanded. Yeah, now coming to the bifurcation. Yeah, can you flash a little bit? Thank you. Flash, flash. Good. Yeah, this is a bifurcation. Yeah, well expanded. Nice. This is a flux LED. Yep, good area. Well expanded. Yeah. This now is coming to yeah, the left main. Flash yep, again. This is the this yeah. left main. Yep. Here's some plug. Oh, a lot of plug. I can check the area again. Yeah, body of the left main is great. No, body yeah, is good, stopped. but this left main yep. we need to see. I sure. think we are done. Let's, Let's take it. a uh, evaluate the left main. Sure. Yeah, so Next is here. Yeah. Check manually. One second, one second. It's a 5.5. .5. One second. Very eccentric left yeah. main. I think it's so, uh, like. Good. Uh, one second, one second. So re remember the less than five is go bad, more than six is good. It's in between area, 5.5 .5 to six. Anyway, let's look at the bifurcation level, Should proximal LED before the bifurcation. That do we need to do further uh, optimization by using a high pressure balloon? Very well excited. So this is the level of the bifurcation. This is proximal to the bifurcation. I can quickly check the area. Kind of a regular shape where it looks like more than eight. After the DY is also well expanded, and there are no edge complications. So LED stand looks great. Okay, go to the RAO cordal and take a picture there, without the wire now. Yeah, box is also great. Without the wire, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
I think left main looking borderline. So what we will do, uh, we don't want to give, you know, put multiple stents because we'll require two stents in the circ, one in the left main. Patient will require stage intervention anyway. So our goal will be based on this angiogram and borderline left main between five point, around 5.5, .5, which is the cutoff criteria kind. So we will bring back. And at that time, I would say different way. What we'll do is do the circ, less calcium there, balloon stent, two stents maybe. Uh, or one lobe, I think two stand. And then put a stand from left main to circ. Osteal LED looks very good now, right? There's no disease yeah, yeah, in the osteal yeah. LED. Yep. So no I think it will do a, a, a cross and then whether you do a kissing or not, uh, I would probably do because we have done the intervention of the LED now. Chance of re is there in the future. It's a different compared to when you want to put a stent across and there's nothing else in the left main and LED is not an issue, then you can just do it uh, from left main to circumflex, leave the LED alone. But this one will put a stent from left main to circ, followed by kissing balloon dilatation for future access in case patient develop re uh, Give 20 of LASIK. So tell us uh, any other opinion on this, uh, uh, that how anybody else uh, will do a uh, different so Deepak, you uh, conclude this and then of course we'll start uh, with the lecture series and I'll join you in 5-10 minutes, 5 minutes. But the opinion from the panel. Yeah. Would you, Dr. Sharma, it is Dr. Viveka Kumar. Would you like to yes. do an FFR run right now for the left main or? No, so I would say, to, yeah, so point is remember, the question will come in this particular case that you had to do a mm -hmm. circumflex anyway. Uh, and you have the imaging, yeah, yeah. and you have very good data of the imaging, that it yeah, makes yeah. it, you know, if you want to take care of yeah. the, uh, based on that, you know, we got about 5.5 few areas. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in that, so I think this is based on this, it looks like a, it's a left main disease. Yeah. It's definitely a left yeah, main disease like, yeah, during definitely. circ. We are going to put a stent mm -hmm. from distal yeah. left, mid left main to the circ, followed by kissing balloon dilatation, just because mm -hmm. We may need to come back to the LED for resources in the future. Otherwise, if you put a stent across and everything looks good, you can leave it alone, which we have shown by our paper. Uh, any other Great. questions? Great. Dr. Sharma, Sunil here. Yeah. Because of the significant uh, cross, the size mismatch between the left main and the circ, Play. you still uh, you're okay to put a uh, you know stent from left main to circ. No, but I, I think the, the, this one will be okay in the sense uh, that you put a 3.2, uh, uh, I mean 3 or maybe even, and the proxy with that distal part you can dilate with a 4 or 4.25. I mean, there is some uh, mismatch, but uh, you know, I think it's okay. It's not uh, very bad. You know, we don't have that meta 4 stents, uh, which are for tapering mm -hmm. stents here. But uh, this, I would say, I probably would put a 3.5. Uh, for the left mid left main to circ to a 12 or 40 12 atmosphere uh, sorry 3.5 12 approximately on the left main I mean I'll post dilate with a 40 and then evaluate if anything need to be done okay I know any other point from your side thank you no very good okay so we are all yeah, done sir, sir. Uh, Fantastic. And you start your, uh, yep. thanks everyone. And Deepak, you start rest of the session. I'll join you shortly. Sir, thank you so much. It was, a, it was a wonderful learning. For me, based on this case, you started off through the femoral approach. Uh, you started off with a seven French guide catheter. You uh, decided that uh, we had to do the diagonal rotablation based on significant calcium on the fluoroscopy. Then based on uh, imaging, you decided that you wouldn't want to go ahead with an atherectomy to the LAD. And then finally, again, imaging guided you to uh, decide what needs to be done for the left main bifurcation. So thank you so much for the uh, for the nice, wonderful case. Uh, uh, thank you once again.